We all know the story of Jonah. We'll touch base on it in a moment. But I'm sure we've all experienced too that moment where you have 2020 vision on somebody else's sins. It's a real thing. And we don't have as much clarity when we look at ourselves. And where Jonah comes in is the Lord was very angry with Nineveh. We see that in the book of Jonah and we also see it in the book of Nahum. But we also know that the God we serve is a God who is merciful and gracious. He is equally a gentleman. So the Lord gave Jonah a word for Nineveh, but Jonah only saw Nineveh for how Jonah could see Nineveh. He couldn't stop and see Nineveh the way God saw Nineveh. So we know that he runs. We know that you know, the experience with the great fish, we know that he has to encounter a side of God that maybe he personally hadn't encountered before. He gets to Nineveh, he shares the word of redemption with Nineveh, and then the next thing we know, he goes up on a hill, and the Bible says that he waits for God to destroy Nineveh. He still has this expectation that their sins are stronger and more, um, more heavy than the weight of God's mercy. So he sits back and he waits. But what we know in the story is that the Ninevites decided to receive the opportunity of redemption. They decided, they chose a, a movement of repentance and they walked in a freedom that came from that redemption, from that repentance, from the mercy of God. And, and Jonah even had a moment with God over it. And, and I say this to you, I want to share this with you, this has been on my heart, that we can't sit and look at the world around us and wait for God to destroy it. We have to take on the heart of, of, of Jonah in the place where he takes the word forth. But it's not my job to let my view of judgment of how somebody else lives decide what their eternal end should be. It's my job to take the redemptive story, the mercy, the grace, and the goodness of God to everyone around them, everyone around me, giving them the opportunity to make the choice. This is where that gentleman heart of God comes in, is that the choice is, is everyone else's. The choice is mine, what I receive and what I don't. But it's not my choice to decide whether or not somebody deserves to hear the opportunity of salvation with Jesus. So, Today I share with you, there might be some Ninevites around you, there might be some extra grace required people in your everyday, but it's your job to share the goodness and the gospel of Jesus. It's your job to even go so far as to share what salvation looks like and what redemption can mean and what repentance is as the Holy Spirit leads you and then let the Holy Spirit do what only he can do in someone else's life. And you may get to experience and be a conduit of letting Jesus transform somebody else's life because you chose to share what God's done in your life.